Coming up next, it is Nico Alcarez. He'll be taking on Arvin Mills. Please welcome to the cage, Arvin Mills. Coming to the cage by way of Marion, Illinois, it is Arvin Mills. Now, Arvin had a big win over Corey Tennant in the Shamrock FC cage in his last outing. Arvin has a lot of standout wrestling from his youth in high school. He, um, I mean, we're talking NCAA qualifiers, great wrestling. To me, wrestling is one of the strongest bases that you can have in this sport. Without a doubt, the wrestler can dictate where the fight's going to go. With that, it brings confidence, and from there, everything is just possible. Whether you want to keep it to the feet and go for a knockout, or you want to take it down, you know you can do that. So wrestling, in my opinion, is hands down probably the best base for MMA. Absolutely, even being a jiu-jitsu guy with you, a judo guy with me, always the wrestling takes it. Because they're, they're the ones, as you said, they can take it wherever the fight needs to be. If I want to get this on the ground, I will get done and make it. Nico Alcaraz, on the other hand, is a different kind of fighter. He's big and he's strong, and he's going to be Arvin's toughest test to date. And his opponent, Nico Alcaraz. Coming to us by way of Finney's MMA and yet to taste defeat in his career, it is Nico Alcarez. As we go to our Supplement Superstore's tale of the tape, Nico Alcarez, 24 years old, 5'9", 182.8 pounds. Arvin Mills, 29 years old, 5'11", 183.8 pounds. Both of these guys well under the middleweight allowance. Yeah, but both these guys are very evenly matched in size. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is set for three rounds in the Shamrock FC Middleweight Division. Introducing to you the first fight tonight out of the FM Roofing Blue Corner. A mixed martial artist who stands five feet 11 inches tall. He weighed in at 183.8 pounds. Fighting out of Marion, Illinois, Arvin Mills! Across the cage, his opponent fighting tonight out of the first form red corner. An undefeated fighter with a perfect record of two wins, no defeats. His name is 61 inch star, weighing 182.6 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, by way of Spain, Nico. Nico has two knockouts. He looks very calm and confident right now. I would imagine he's going to come out and try to make it a third. Absolutely. Referee Mike Anglin in charge of the action. Arvin Mills in the blue tape. Nico Alcaraz in the red. Alcaraz said, I don't have much respect for Arvin's wrestling ability. Arvin keeping his chin here very high. Somebody who's got the knockout power of Alcaraz, you don't want to do that. Yeah, he's, he's keeping that left hand low. He's kind of hanging out. Bin to the side. I think he's going to try to time it and look for the takedown, just like he did right there. Yeah, good duck Forced under there. The cage. But, get, yeah, good double underhooks there out of Alcaraz. Yeah, Nico is fighting for the underhooks, trying to bring him back up, keep it to the feet where he wants to stay. Something hurt there on Arvin Mills. Yeah, he seems to be kind of favoring that right leg. He's trying to get this fight to the ground, does not want to stand up. I'm banking there's a knee injury or an yeah, ankle. Yeah, he's, he's favoring that right leg. I don't know what happened in there in the scramble there. He's going for the takedown. He does not want to stand on his feet. At all. Nico's digging for the underhooks there. Using the cage to his advantage. Nico, the much bigger fighter here. They almost look like they're in different weight classes. He's doing a good job trying to uh, push that head down and then fight for the, uh, the cross face. Digging for that underhook. Just trying to circle off the cage. Keep it on the feet. Oh, oh, big shot there. Alcaraz landing some shots here. Nico looks very confident. He's coming forward. It, it almost seems to be that front leg here of Mills, which if you take the front leg away, the base leg of a wrestler, that kills the shot. Oh, you take the legs away, you take everything away. It's gonna be a hard, it's gonna be a hard fought fight. A long three rounds. Good distance. 
Oh, nice jab by Nico. Ooh, followed up with the uppercut. Big hands there out of Alcaraz. Answered oh, by knee. Mills. Mills, oh, huge nice takedown. Take trip. Good control there out of Mills. Mills using that wrestling. You're under one minute remaining here in the first round of this three round contest. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with Bellator veteran Adam Meredith. Now we're gonna see how Nico Alcaraz uses this position. It's a place he hasn't been yet. Yeah, he's gonna have to post, use this cage, try to get up. But Arvin Mills is doing a great job. He's stuck in the full guard here. He's gonna need to posture up and land some big shots and try to progress from here. Nice shots there. Nico's doing a great job controlling this posture. He's controlling the head here. He's not letting Arvin posture up and land any big shots. Looking he's got for the triangle, triangle here. Nico's got the triangle, he's got it locked up. 10 seconds, can Arvin Mills survive it? Arvin's tucking that right arm there, trying to alleviate that pressure. Good save there. I'm interested to see how he responds after this sec or after this first round. Yeah. Arvin Mills' leg is he's obviously hurt there. He's favoring it a little bit. Yeah, definitely there. So if you're in the corner here of Arvin Mills, what advice are you going to give him? If I'm in this corner, I'm telling him we got to get this to the ground. Because if your leg is really hurt, we don't want to sit there and, and risk taking a big shot, taking a big kick in that leg. Let's get this to the ground as fast as possible where you have control. Now, adversely here, as we look at our, at uh, Nico Alcarez, both Arian Zekti and, you know, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt Lucas Lopes, who's fought all over the world um, in his corner. What is advice are you going to give him here? He looks tired. Yeah, they want well. They want to keep it on the feet. He does look tired right now, but I think that they know that out, uh, that Arvin's leg is hurt, so they're going to want to keep it on the feet, make him actually use his legs, tire him out, and try to get a big shot, finish this. Second round of this three-round contest underway. Nico taking the center of the cage here. But Mills does seem to be moving a little bit better here this second round. Yeah, he seems to be recovered. Oh, big oh, overhand left. Big overhand left. He's coming forward. Oh, nice leg kick from Nico. Oh. Now, Arvin is showing some true veteran status here, though. He's been very calm, and he's throwing kind of herky-jerky shots. That one right there, it found a home, though, every one of them. Yeah, he's not putting himself in any crazy danger. He's staying calm. He seems to recover from that leg. He threw a nice little teep kick there. Alcaraz changing stances a bit now. Yeah, he keeps switching back and forth. Mills needs to get off that cage, though. Hands real wide. Yeah, not a low. place you want to be against somebody who's much bigger. Alcaraz doing a great job here, though, of, of keeping the cage control. Cage control is so important in this. He's staying very calm. He's keeping Alvarez back to the cage. He's doing a great job there. Or Arvin's back to the cage. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Looks a lot easier on TV, doesn't it, Adam? <laughs> yeah, you guys do such a great job, Jeremy. <laughs> Big overhand there out of Arvin Mills. Catches that oh, kick catches again. That. Looking for the takedown. I tell you what, if he catches one more kick, I would be in his corner telling Alcaraz not to throw any more kicks. You don't Big throw shot there to the punch. body, though, with that, uh, that knee. Nice knee to the body. Alcaraz Olico dragging him down. him down, trying to be very heavy. Got Keeping that top pressure, finish. looking oh, for that guillotine. For the guillotine. Oh, his head popped out. Back in. Alcaraz trying to finish. Referee Mike Anglin right on top of the action here. Mills doing a good job. They're trying to hold on tight. Looks like Mills is doing a good job hand fighting, getting wrist control here. One minute remaining here in the second round of this three round contest. Oh, Nico's oh, taking now. the back. Good turnout. Oh. Mills has to be careful. He'll, oh, oh no, right into the rear naked choke oh. and gets the tap. Rolled right into it. He did a great job, pulled the hand out, moved it, 
to drop Alcaraz down, but kept rolling. Yeah, he did a great job chasing the Almost back. Almost over-rotated. Yeah, and you know, uh, Mills put himself in a, in a pretty bad situation. He almost got his arm trapped there, which then kind of led to the rear naked choke because he was worried about his arm. He wasn't able to defend. Beautiful fight there out of Nico Alcaraz, moving it to 3-0 and oh in the world of mixed martial arts. Ladies and gentlemen, Nico Alcaraz is for real. Let's send this one up to the cage to Joe Parisi to make it official. Show of respect, they're out of both of these fighters. Nico Alcarez adding another big win.